I'm Commander Exegius, and today we'll be looking at the most efficient ways to obtain minerals. Minerals are used for engineering, synthesis, and technology unlocks, and as such they are rather important. There are two primary ways to obtain minerals, via asteroid mining or surface prospecting, or via cargo racks at crashed anaconda sites. Today we'll look at surface prospecting with an emphasis on the crashed anaconda sites as that is a very efficient method. Let's start with the basic way of obtaining minerals, surface prospecting. This is done using an SRV on landable planets. Before we head out, we'll need to know where we want to go based on the mineral we're looking for. There are a few ways to do this. My recommendation is to use edtb.io. Simply navigate to the Bodies tab and in the Material Finder box, enter the minerals you're looking for. While you can find multiple minerals on the same body, if they are rare grade minerals, I suggest looking for them individually. Once you've entered the mineral you're looking for, enter your current location in Reference System and click Find Bodies. Then, sort the results by the mineral by clicking the mineral name to find the highest drop rate you can, verifying that the distance from the primary star isn't massive. Now that we've looked at the basic method, let's look at the pro method, using one of the crashed anaconda sites. There are a few, one on Arrear 2B and another on Coley Disky C6A. While the site at Arrear is fairly close to the main star, the one in Coley is 90 plus thousand light seconds away. Even still, this is the much better of the two sites, as the terrain at the crash site is much easier to navigate, greatly speeding your collection. At either of the two sites, the method is the same. Jump into your SRV, target each of the three cargo racks on the ground, and blow them up with your SRV turret. Once they explode, they will spawn one or two grade three or four minerals. A list is on screen now. Once you collect the minerals that have spawned from the destroyed racks, you simply log out and back in, and all three racks will respawn. Rinse and repeat for as long as you can. In an hour, you can collect over 300 of these rare minerals, which segues to the next step, heading to a material trader. As the trade rates using these minerals are the most favorable, with the least effort you'll be able to trade for any of the lower grade minerals you'll need. Let's end by briefly looking at how to use the SRV Wave Scanner to find minerals when doing surface prospecting. First, I highly suggest having a look at wavescanner.net. This is a fantastic site that will give you a virtual SRV, allowing you to see and hear how each different signal type is represented on the scanner. When prospecting, if you don't see anything on your scanner, just travel in one direction, slowing from time to time so that items will spawn in. Once you've found a signal, head toward it and it will become targetable once within range. Just lock on and blast it with your SRV turret. Hopefully this brief look at mineral collection will have you gathering minerals for engineering, synthesis, and technology unlocks efficiently. While using the crash sites can get rather, um, repetitive, the time savings can be significant. Once again, this has been Commander Exegius, reminding you to fly dangerously, and thanks for watching. If you found that tutorial on mineral gathering helpful, I hope you'll have a look at my tutorial on material gathering made easier. You can also join me on my weekly live streams, Tutorial Tuesdays, and Friends on Fridays, and I hope you'll consider supporting my efforts via Patreon.